make sure I get this out, you know. Ready for some swatches. I guess I'll just take out a couple. Works too. My god, these are potent. Whew, they're like cologne. They, they straight up smell like cologne. Ugh. Even though it's 9 o'clock at night, I'm drinking a full cup of coffee. No sleep for me. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel today. So today's video is obviously, as you can tell from the title, it is my huge Sephora VIB sale haul. Yep, I go crazy with this sale, it comes twice a year, so I take full advantage of it. So I actually made a really huge order online, and then I also made a really big purchase in store today. Yes. So I always go crazy on the sale because, hey, if I can save 15% off on makeup, hell yeah, I'm going to take it, especially at Sephora. I like the sale at the end of the year better, though, because I get 20% off instead of 15% off, and it's a lot more money off. So it might make it count like some more. But before we get into Sephora VIB sale haul, if you guys are brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. My name is Madison. Feel free to subscribe right here at this little annotation coming in. That way you get notified for future videos. I do a lot of unboxings. I do reviews, hauls, tutorials, first impressions. I do everything, so make sure you subscribe to those, and now let's just go ahead and see what I got at the Sephora VIB sale. All right, we are actually gonna be starting with the box. So, with the box um, that I ordered, I actually had it sent overnight. It's only $5 because I am a Rouge member, and that's all it costs. Alrighty, so this order right here, I ordered the night of the sale, like literally at midnight. I had everything in my cart ready to go and I just hit check out and said goodbye to the money in my bank account. But hey, you know what? It only comes twice a year, so you might as well take advantage of it. All right, so the first product that I got is called the Drunk Elephant. And yes, I said the Drunk Elephant. I know, such a weird brand name. When I heard Kathleen Lice talk about this brand, I was like, girl, what are you talking about? I That's like the weirdest name ever. But yeah, it's called Drunk Elephant. And it is the Bee Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. Quench, moisturize, and illuminate. So I am obsessed with the Skin Medica like Hydra Complex. I think that's what it's called. It's very similar to this, but guess what? I went to go repurchase that one. They discontinued it. I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? My skin loves that stuff. So when I found out that they discontinued it, I have been on a hunt for something very similar. And I saw that Drunk Elephant came out with this. I think this is relatively new. So I'm super excited to try this out. And basically what it does, it brightens and improves skin texture and tone while delivering intense skin moisturization. So it's basically like a cool drink of water for your face. Yes. So I am super excited to try this out, especially because it's good for sensitive skin. And we all know I have very sensitive skin, like anything will break me out. So I'm crossing fingers that this does not break me out. So the next product that I got from Drug Elephant is called this All Glowy Kit. Basically, this is an awesome kit, you guys. It is $135, 20% off. I think I paid like 90 bucks for this thing, but I have been dying to try out Drunk Elephant. And you guys, I've had this little middle product right here in my cart so many times on Sephora. I could never hit that purchase button because I was like, I don't know if this is gonna work out for me. I don't wanna spend this money. So when I saw this little kit, I was like, oh my goodness, I gotta get this. And this was the one kit that I was really worried about selling out because I know that they had a similar kit called like the Littles and it was on the Drunk Elephant website and it was sold out and it doesn't get restocked until May. So when I saw this Sephora came out with this little kit, I was like, oh my God, yes, I gotta take advantage of this. Okay, so this middle one is the one that Kathleen Lights talks about a lot and this is what got me really interested into Drunk Elephant. And this is the TLC Frambus Glycolic Night Serum, Refine and Regenerate. So this is going to refresh hydrating gel that resurfaces dull, congested skin by gently lifting dead cells away. Ooh, revealing an even toned and radiant complexion. Fine lines, wrinkles, and other signs of aging will be greatly diminished along with excess oiliness, acne, and the appearance of pores. Holy moly, yeah, this is why I really want to try this product because it just sounds like it's perfect for what my skin and what my skin really needs. So I am super excited to try this out. I will let you guys know what I think of it. And then the next product that you get in there is the Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil, Hydrate and Anti-Aging. So I am also super excited to try this out because I have been wanting to try like a beauty oil really bad. And I actually went on Sephora right before I checked out and I was like, I want to find a beauty oil. I want to find a beauty oil. And this is what I found. It had really good reviews and I actually had the full size of my cart. But then I was like, wait a second, did this come in the kit? So I went back to my cart and looked at the kit. And I was like, oh, 
this comes in the kit. So now I can try out before making that huge purchase. And basically what this is, is just an oil like I was telling you guys. So it's a luxury facial oil, high in critical antioxidants and omega-6 and 9. Will hydrate, preserve, and heal while restoring skin's youthful glow. And it also is fragrance-free, which is awesome. So again, like I was telling you guys, these products are great for sensitive skin. This is why I really want to try them out. And then the last product that you get in there is the C Firma Day Serum. Firm and Brighten. So another great product that I am so excited to try out. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I will definitely let you guys know what I think about these skincare items from Drunk Elephant. If I do not like them, I'm not gonna lie, they will be going back if they break me out because they ain't cheap. Okay, so next up I have the Miniature. Ooh, I like the way they did that because they did Miniature. <laughs> Cream Lip Stain Set. So they actually released this like right at midnight, right when the sale started. So I was like, oh my God, I gotta try this out. So let me open this up so that way we can swatch them super quickly. Ooh, they come in this really nice tin case too. It looks like those like old fashioned lunch boxes. I like it, this is cool. All right, oh my God, I'm gonna break a nail. How the hell am I supposed to get these things out? Oh, woo! We good, we safe. I probably should have worn a helmet for that one. All right, so here they are swatched on my arm. They are a matte liquid lipstick, super pretty you guys, and they definitely did swatch really nicely. So the red one is called Always Red, and then there's Mandarin Muse, Whipped Blush, African Violet, and Peach Tart. I have to say I really, really like Peach Tart. That one's like super pretty nude. I really really like that so if you guys can get your hands on this set i would definitely recommend it because these look really really nice okay so the next thing that i got from the mini collection i was going to get the eyeshadow palette but when i saw it i was like it's just too similar to everything else i own i just didn't think it was worth it but i did get the blush and this is the mini's inner glow luminizing blush so i saw this on the website and it just looked really really pretty so i was like oh i have to try this Alrighty, so this is what the packaging looks like. Super, super pretty compact, absolutely adorable. And ooh, that is a pretty color. Check that out. It's a really pretty apricot color. That is gorgeous. Let's swatch it. Ooh, this is going to be a really pretty blush for the spring and summertime. Look at how gorgeous that is. I love how kind of toned down it is. I think it's gonna be like the perfect like flush on the cheeks that it's just gonna go really well with like a natural makeup look and a very springy makeup look. Just check that out, super gorgeous. All right, so next up I got a brush. I actually started off with having three brushes, no, four brushes in my car and I ended up with one because I was going through like my car and I was like, God, oh, this isn't necessary. I already own something like this. So I was trying to be really good, you guys. I really was. So I only got one of these brushes, but I was actually watching like the Sephora like color correcting videos that they did and they were using these brushes and I was like, oh my God, these look amazing. So I really want to try them out. All right, so the brush is called the Pro Flawless Airbrush and it just looks like that. You guys, it's super, super soft. Oh my goodness, it feels so good. It's so soft. I am so, so excited to use this for my foundation. It just looks like it's gonna apply it really, really nicely. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna use this tomorrow. Okay, so next up, I got the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Yes, I am just now hopping on this bandwagon. It's because my skin has usually been very oily, but I notice as I'm getting older, it's getting a little drier, and maybe I can pull this foundation off. I don't know. But this is what the packaging looks like. Absolutely gorgeous, you guys. So pretty, a gorgeous frosted glass packaging. You open it up, and then boom, you got your pump there. Pretty nice. So the shade that I got is shade five, and I have no idea if this is going to match me. No idea, let's check this out. Oh, this might match. I think it will match better if I am not self tan You guys can't really even see it there, but yeah, it feels really nice. And Jaclyn Hill's been raving about this for like the longest time. So I was like, okay, you know what? I just need to try this out. All right, so next up I got a primer and I actually had the full sizes of these primers in my basket, but then I was like, oh hey, they have travel sizes. It's a lot cheaper. I can find out if it's gonna break me out and if it does and it's an easy return or I just kind of like cut my losses with it. So this is the step one skin equalizer. This is the hydrating primer. So my skin has been very, very dry and I just can't stand it. So I'm trying to check out some hydrating primers. So I'm hoping that the hydrating ones won't break me out, but this looks really cute 
cute. And you know what? This is a really reasonable size right here. So I think this is a really good choice because it will let me know if I'm gonna like it or not. And if I do, I can always purchase the full size later. Okay, so next up I have another primer from Makeup Forever and I got the Smoothing Primer. This is the one that everyone raves about and I was like, oh, I just gotta try it out, you know? Just kind of go with the fad. Yeah. So again, I also got the travel size in this one. So I'm really, really excited to try this out. Everyone loves it and hopefully I love it too. Crossing fingers. All right, so next up I got one of the new Becca blushes and I believe they came out with this one. This is the Snapdragon and then she also came out with Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily was a little bit too orange for me to be honest. So I saw this one, I was like, oh, this is so pretty. She also had other ones that were released, but they were out of stock, which was kind of weird, but they're released on her website. And there was one that I saw that would like really caught my eye and it was a really pretty coral shade. I don't know what it was called, but I might go and order that one. But this one is also a kind of like a darker like coral shade, really, really pretty. I really want to try this out because a lot of people were raving about these. And basically what it is, it's just a blush that has some sheen to it, super pretty. It actually kind of reminds me of like NARS Orgasm a little bit, but with like a little bit more pigmentation to it. But I think this would look gorgeous on the cheeks, especially for a really pretty kind of like summer, spring makeup look. With that sheen on it, you'll just be like glowing. Ooh, I love it. Okay, so next up I took one of your guys' recommendations and I can't remember who recommended me to get the Buxom palette, but I was like, wait, I get to customize my own palette. Heck yes, I'm going to do this. So that's exactly what I did. So let me open this up because I think this is just the palette and I have the eyeshadows like floating around in that box somewhere. But basically you get to build your own palette and I have seen YouTubers talk about these. I just never jumped on it. But you basically get like an empty palette there and you get to pick out six shades of what colors you like, which I thought was awesome. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna build my own palette. So I'm gonna fill this up real quick and then I'll show you what I got. So I'm sitting here trying to like push these things in, but look at, there's a drawer. Duh. All right, so here they are swatched right there on my arm. Super pretty, you guys, they are so creamy. They're so blendable and they're not patchy or anything. I really, really like these. Just from swatching them and feeling them, I can already tell that I'm really going to like them. Because I have to tell you, I ordered some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills like singles, like the spring collection. Mm -mm. I don't like them. The matte shades aren't pigmented enough. They were hard to work with. I couldn't really get them to blend out. And I thought I was crazy and I was like, why don't I like these? And then I was watching Casey's Holmes like hits and misses and she mentioned it at the end of the video. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm not the only crazy one here cause she didn't like them either. So yeah, I wasn't a fan of them. But yeah, I definitely recommend the Buxom though. These are really nice. I can let you guys know more when I use them but I can already tell these are gonna be really, really good to use. So thank you for the recommendation. All right, so I had a ton of points. So I used some of my points on the Flawlessly Fab Skin. And this is the first A Beauty kit. And I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I gotta get this. I gotta try this because everyone has been talking about first A Beauty and I've never tried anything from them. So I was like, you know what? I really wanna try this. But I will definitely let you guys know what I think about this. It looked like a really great point perk and it says safe for sensitive skin, allergy tested and fragrance free. That's what I like to hear. All right, so next up from the points, I got the Estee Edit, and this is the Dissolve the Drama two-in-one makeup remover and cleanser. So I thought this was really cool, and I really wanted to give this one a try, and they had it for like 100 points, so I was like, yes, why not? And then next up, I got the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. So a lot of people have been talking about this one too, and it makes you look like the Tin Man, so I was like, ah, I definitely have to give this one a try too. And next up, they had the new Tarte Tartiste Mascara. So when I saw this in there, I was like, yes, this is called the Lash Paint Mascara. So I really want to try this out. It was only 100 points, so I was like, heck yeah, get into my cart now. All right, so next up, I got four of the new liquid lipsticks from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I am actually wearing one of them right now, and oh my god, I'm obsessed with it. And the color that I'm wearing right now on my lips is called Crush, so I'm going to go ahead and take these out and swatch them for you guys. All right, so here are the colors that I got right here. They are absolutely gorgeous, you guys, and here they are swatched on my arm. And from the top, we have Strip, which is really pretty. It's a gorgeous, like, peachy nude. And then the one next down below it is called Crush, and this is the color that I'm wearing on my lips right now. And this is another really gorgeous kind of pinky, like, soft mauve nude shade. It actually really reminds me of Coco K, to be honest. And then the one down below is called Soft Lilac, which is a very pretty soft lilac color obviously and then the last one is called you guessed it 
Madison. So I actually got tagged in that Instagram post from one of you guys and you told me that I should get it because hello, it's my name. So I definitely did go and get it. So I thought it was really, really pretty and I was like, yes, gotta add that to the collection. Okay, so next up I have another recommendation from you guys and this is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. And I got the shade 20M. So a lot of you guys recommended me to get this bronzer. So I was like, yes, let's try it out and let me open it if I can. How do you, oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Check this out, it's gorgeous. It has a really pretty like sheen to it and I just thought this would be so pretty for the summertime. Oh my God, I even swatched in the store and I was like, this is so pretty. This one is very light, so I don't know if this is gonna work out too well if I am self tanning, but check it out. Look at how pretty that is. <gasps> This would just warm up the face so beautifully and just make you look like a bronze goddess. All right, can we just talk about those checkout lines at Sephora or just like at any store? They really do get you, like they just suck you in. So they sucked me in and what I ended up getting is I got the Bosha Cognac Sponge Mini Trio. So I actually do not like Bosha's skincare line. My skin doesn't like it very much. But when I saw that they had cognac sponges and I just saw them sitting there, I was like, I don't care that they're Bosha. I just really wanna use a cognac sponge. I really love using like sponges and stuff to get off all that makeup and leftover residue after you cleanse your skin so I really want to try these out I'm hoping that these don't break me out but I really want to try out the charcoal one so crossing fingers that this one does not break me out all right so next up we have some more skincare and a lot of you were saying go get the Sunday Riley stuff and I was like okay I was at the store today and I was like okay I want to go check out Sunday Riley everyone is talking about this brand let me check it out so I went there and I caved I caved big time and Sunday Riley is not very cheap at all so I definitely want to get it now because of the sale and if I don't like it I'm just gonna return it but the first product that I got is the Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream oh my goodness when I like tried the tester of this I was like oh my god this feels so good it was so moisturizing yet thin that it just felt really really good on the skin so I really really want to try this out and it delivers an intense water drench with two forms of hyaluronic acid which I love for significant continuous hydration for 24 hours while evening texture with papaya enzymes and brightening with alpha arbutin arbutin I don't know. I'm starting to get very congested right now. But yeah, you basically massage this into the skin morning and night and I really, really wanted this. This stuff felt so good. Let me know if you guys have tried this product before and let me know what you think about it. But it just looks so nice. Check it out. Oh, the packaging is just so pretty. I'm gonna open it up. It's just like the prettiest blue color. Just check that out. It looks so hydrating. Hang on. I'm gonna take a little bit right here. Oh my God. It just feels so good. So I am super, super excited to try this out. I will let you guys know what I think about it. And let me just tell you, I got a lot of skincare products here. So this is gonna be used over a long period of time. And I can only introduce so much to my skincare regimen because I can't introduce everything at once. Otherwise my skin's gonna go haywire and I'm not gonna know what breaks me out if something does break me out. So I have to introduce everything a little bit at a time. So we definitely have to be patient on the feedback with this, but I will definitely let you guys know what I think. All right, so the next product that I got from Sunday Riley, uh, I was standing there and I was like, oh my God, this thing called Good Jeans, it looked so good. It was a serum, just really nice. I read the back of it, I was like, oh my God, my skin needs this, like it really needs this stuff. But the price was $105, I was like, oh, my God, I don't wanna pay $105 for something. I don't know if it's gonna work for my skin. So I looked down at the very bottom of the shelf and I saw this little thing. And this is a little set and it's the Power Couple Kit. So you get the good jeans in it and then you also get the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. A lot of people are talking about the Luna Sleeping Night Oil and I was like, oh my God, I can get both of these for cheaper than getting good jeans. So I was like, yes give this to me. So I am super excited to try these out. And basically what Good Jeans is, it's an all-in-one lactic acid treatment. High potency, pharmaceutical grade, lactic acid, instantly plumps surface lines and smooths the appearance of deeper wrinkles while fighting hyperpigmentation for an even complexion. So it's going to brighten and it's going to soothe any irritation that you have, 
plump lines and correct uneven skin tone for immediate radiance. So we all know I have my laugh lines, I have some lines up here that I wanna plump up, and also I have a very uneven skin tone as well, so I was like, oh my God, let's put this to the test. So I'm really excited for good jeans, and then the Luna Sleeping Night Oil is an advanced retinol ester combined with soothing blue essential oils for an overnight transformative facial. So it's basically gonna diminish pores, lines, and sun damage, and it's gonna calm the redness and irritation in your skin. So these I have heard a lot of people raving about and I was like, I gotta try it. I gotta try it. So I will let you guys know what I think about this. So remember, I have to introduce everything a little bit at a time so that way I know what my skin likes and doesn't like. All right, so next up are some products that I got a little bit before the sale, but I just wanna include them for you guys because I just, I wanna talk about them. And the first one is one of the new By Beauty lipsticks and it's the Amuse Bouche. Boucher, I don't know how you say that, but it's the Amuse Boucher lipstick in Souffle. So I ordered this on the website and I thought it looked all way different on the website. And when I got it, it's like a bubble gum petal pink. Like check that out. Super bright. I don't know so much about this one. I combined it with another lipstick that I had and I got a really pretty shade. So I think I'm actually going to keep it and I'm just gonna kind of mix it with another lipstick, just get a little bit more of a deeper shade. But it is a pretty shade, it's just a little bit too light for me. But I really do like the formulation of these. And these are getting a lot of high reviews right now, so definitely go check these out. All right, so next up I picked up one of the new Kat Von D eyeshadow quads. And the one that I got is in Rust. And I have used this already and it's so pretty pretty you guys check it out oh I love these and I knew I was gonna love these because I love her shade light eye contour palette oh it's like one of my holy grail palettes so I knew I was gonna love this one and oh they are so pretty just look at how pigmented that is right there super super pigmented for that shadow I'm gonna swatch them for you real quick you can just see the pigmentation in these shadows. It's insane. So here are the shadows swatched on my arm. Do you see how pigmented these are? They are so creamy and buttery and they blend so well. It's so nice. I definitely recommend them. Go pick them up. Okay, so we are finally to the last product. So if you stay this long, thumbs up to you. Comment this emoji down below so I know you guys stay this long. And the last product that I got is the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Nude Lip. So I wasn't going to get this because I actually have two of the lip products that are in here already, but then I saw that there was a nude stick and I was like, oh my God, I want this, I want this bad. So I ended up getting one of them and guess what? I got a second one. So be expecting a giveaway very soon, you guys. I am just collecting some stuff for the giveaway and I think I'm gonna film it next week so that way I can get it up for you guys. But again, thank you guys so much for being so patient with me for the giveaway. It's coming, I promise you. So this is what the little kit looks like. I love how it's in the shape of lips. Super, super cute. We are gonna open this up and swatch them. And the first product that we have in here is a NARS lipstick and this is in the shade Dolce Vita. All right, so this lipstick right here is more of a moisturizing lipstick. It's not like super, super pigmented, but I like those too because they're great for on the go. And the next one is a super cute little size of Namaste. Namaste. It is called Namaste. 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 Can you please use Namaste in a sentence? Keisha asked me, did I want to go out last night? And I said, Namaste, my ass at home. <laughs> Can you please use Namaste in a sentence? Namaste. Did I want to go out last night and I said Namaste my ass at home? At home. Namaste, I'm gonna stay my ass at home. <laughs> Oh my god, that was really funny. So I'm just gonna remember it for that video right there. That's really funny. But you get Namaste right here. But it is super, super pretty. Here it is. It's a really pretty pinky nude right there. I really love this one from the collection. All right, so next up we got the Marc Jacobs Lip Liner in Prim Rose. And oh, this is such a pretty nude lip liner. Check that out. Oh my god, you know what? This little box is worth it just for that little thing right there. That is super nice. I really like this one. Definitely check out Primrose. It reminds me of Hunger Games, right? Is her name Primrose? Yeah. All right, so next up we got one from Nude Sticks and this is why I really wanted this because I love Nude Sticks. If you have not tried Nude Sticks yet, go try it, it's amazing. And this is her Lip Cheek Pencil and it is in the shade Whisper. So let's, oh my goodness, check this out. Do you see that beauty down there? So gorgeous. Oh, oh, I'm so excited for that one. I like it. Oh, this thing like sprung back up. 
Did I ruin you? Nope, I did not ruin you. But yeah, super pretty, love it. And then the last lip product that you get in here is called a Milky Way. And I actually already have this one and this is from Laura Mercier. So this is just a really pretty kind of brown nude right there. So I definitely think this is an awesome kit and I'm so happy that I got one for you guys for the giveaway. All right, so I also forgot to mention this little thing and this is kind of like a congratulations for spending a lot of money at Sephora. Yeah, so this is the Sephora VIB Rouge little gift that you get for spending tons of money. No surprise there. But you just basically get like a little booklet kind of saying like what you get for being a VIB Rouge member. And then you also get this really cute little NARS blush. Oh my goodness. For you know what, for as much money as I spent at Sephora, they could have at least made this a full size. Am I right? Am I right? This blush is in the shade Gulu. 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 Golu? I don't know. But it is something. I don't know what it is. Oh my goodness. Check out this blush. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It looks like it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. Oh, so freaking pretty. Oh my goodness. This is something to get in the full size, you guys. This is gorgeous. Oh my God, go pick up Golu, Goleg, whatever the heck it's called. It's on the screen for you, but this is pretty. This is something that I would want to get in full size. So this is definitely a gorgeous shade. All right, so that is everything that I got in my Sephora VIB sale haul. As you guys know, these hauls are always very long because I get a lot of products. I buy a lot of makeup and skincare. But if you guys enjoyed this haul video, then please give it a thumbs up and then also comment down below what you guys got at the Sephora VIB sale haul because I would love to know what you guys got and maybe I'll go pick up more stuff because the sale doesn't end to the 13th. Very dangerous. So again, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for future videos and I will see you guys in my next video.